Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kidlit Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to share a picture book review of A Leaf Called Grief by Kelly Canby. This is a beautiful, beautiful picture book that did make me cry and you guys will know I absolutely adore Kelly Canby. I have an entire video on her backlist that I did during a readathon earlier this year and I just find her books to be utterly stunning and this is no exception. So the book synopsis says, Bear is all alone until he meets the greenest, most beguiling leaf he's ever seen, a leaf called grief. Bear embraces grief and holds grief tight, but as the season wanes, grief changes and so does Bear. And the one thing that I absolutely adore about Kelly Canby's writing, she has great word choice and she uses words that are beautiful and great for exploring language. She also uses a lot of puns and wordplay and is it's just very clever, which makes the books not only great books to read for younger readers, but also for older readers because you can actually study the craft of writing and why she might have made those particular choices. So as you might suspect, this book is about grief. And so Bear has lost their family and they hold on tight to this leaf that they find because it brings them joy and happiness and is something that helps them to cope in the moment. And obviously once that leaf is taken from the tree or has fallen from the tree, it does eventually get old and brown and crinkly and fragile. And I think it's a beautiful metaphor for the process of grief and grieving. It's a, a wonderful book that highlights all of those kinds of emotions that you go through and showing that it's okay and it's okay to hold on to the things that help you to cope. It's also okay to let them go when you need to because they, they no longer serve the same purpose that they did once before. She's also used color to really highlight a lot of the emotions. So obviously in the darkest times, we have a lot of dark colors. And then as things become more hopeful, we begin to move sort of into those more spring colors. Like this is the perfect book to add to a collection, particularly if you have a young person who is dealing with grief or with loss. And it's a great way to start conversations about emotions and how we all cope and how we all have different strategies. So I, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. I think it's beautiful. I did cry while I was reading it the first time and the second time because I think it is just so heartfelt and it just really hits a particular note and resonates, I think, with the reader. There are a lot of books that are coming out for kids that talk about emotions and feelings and all of that. This is a story that does that. It's not trying to tell kids these are the emotions and this is how you feel. There is interpretation required in here. You have to unpack and infer what's going on. And I think those are the most powerful books for emotions because it gives you a scenario and it gives you a scenario in context of a story. So I think my preference, I love all of the books that are coming out to help with well-being and emotions and, and all of that. I, I love that we've got so many of them available to us, but I will always gravitate towards a story that does that because I think the impact is so much greater. It's also in a lot of ways safer because it's a character's experience, but we can relate to it. So I absolutely love this. It will easily be one of my favorite picture books of the year, just like Timeless was last year. I will leave links to more information about the book and the author down below. I would love to know, have you picked up any of Kelly Canby's books? Have you read A Leaf Called Grief? Because it is honestly, it's wonderful, but maybe you do have a, a tissue or a hanky handy if you do read it. If you just want to let me know that you're here, but you don't want to leave a comment, feel free to leave a leaf emoji down below. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everyone.